each time I create something new, I think, wow, this would be a great recipe for my cookbook. But this gluten-free vegan Irish soda bread was too easy and simple to make, not to share right away. Not only is it perfect for the month of March, but it's amazing to bake all year round because it's so quick to prepare. The ingredients are whole psyllium husk, warm water, maple syrup, plain vegan yogurt, gluten-free oat flour, brown rice flour, sorghum flour, tapioca starch, gluten-free baking powder, and that's where you'll find the baking soda, sea salt, and golden raisins. You can use regular raisins, you can use currants, whatever you want, or you can just leave them out all together. Preparing Irish soda bread takes less than 10 minutes, and it's as simple as combining the whole psyllium husk with half the warm water. And don't forget the pure maple syrup and giving it a quick mix until the psyllium thickens. Then you wanna add the plain vegan yogurt and keep the yogurt cup handy because we're gonna use whatever's left in it later to brush on top of the dough and mix until well combined. To the wet mixture, we're now gonna add the dry ingredients, which include uh, the combination of gluten-free flours, and in this case, it's sorghum flour, brown rice flour, and oat flour. And if for whatever reason you need substitution ideas, don't forget to reference the notes in the recipe to help you out and we're going to add the tapioca starch the gluten-free baking powder the sea salt and the raisins and if you're like me and you forget to put the maple syrup in the wet uh, mixture don't worry you could add it at any time it will be just fine mix a little add the remaining half cup of warm water and then it should not take more than about 15 seconds to mix until well combined I highly recommend using a Dutch oven to bake your Irish soda bread, but if you don't have one, you can use a cast iron skillet or even a baking sheet. It will be just fine. And uh, if you do use a Dutch oven, preheating it at the same time as your oven is a great idea. And you can take it out just before you start preparing your dough for baking. And in case you're new, I'm Chantal. And if you enjoy easy recipes such as this one, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Transfer the sticky dough mixture to a sheet of parchment paper. Mine was about 12 by 12 inches. And shape it with a soft spatula into a round disc that's about two to three inches thick in the center. Then gently smooth out the dough surface with slightly wet hands. Scrape down the sides of your yogurt cup and brush the top of your dough. With a large sharp knife, cut across on the surface of the dough. Now transfer both the dough and the parchment paper to your preheated Dutch oven and bake at 425 for 30 minutes covered. You can check your loaf at the 30 minute mark, but you want to bake it for another 10 to 20 minutes uncovered. And you will know when the incredible Irish soda bread is ready, when the bottom of the loaf is golden brown and sounds hollow in tap and the sides and the top are a little darker and crispy. And if you have a digital thermometer, the bread is ready once the internal temperature reaches around 210 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, if you want your bread a little darker, let it bake for a few extra minutes. Cool on a wire rack for 10 to 20 minutes, or as long as you can wait, slice or break apart, even if it's still a bit warm, that's the best part. Once you try it, you'll see why this dough would also be awesome for other types of bread creations. Imagine uh, putting some herbs or onions, uh, olives, uh, some seeds or other types of dried fruit. The Facebook baking group is also a great place to ask questions. So I will make sure to include a link in the video's description in case you would like to join. I hope you're going to try this bread recipe. I've made it many times in the past week and I just can't get over how easy it is to prepare and bake. And the best part for this gluten-free bread is that once it's cooled for like 10 to 20 minutes, you can actually Slice it while it's still warm and enjoy it with your favorite buttery spread or seed or nut butter. And it is amazing. You can slice it this way or you can actually, when it's still warm, you can just break it apart just like this. And it's amazing. It's incredible, really. So I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye for now.